Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will create Shooter AI. And uh, for Shooter AI, as you already know, and uh, you have checked my tutorials uh, for Invector, that we can go to Invector and directly we can create Shooter. I already have uh, imported some assets for Environment, Winter Nature. We, I already uh, Goblin character. I have imported Cave Troll. I have imported Adventure character. I have imported. These are all the uh, free uh, free uh, assets. Only the environment is not free. So uh, I have tried Invector Shooter and Create Shooter Control, but it is giving me some errors. So now what we will do that uh, I will just create a prefab here and I will uh, uh, use the already created character and then we can modify that so prefabs sorry what happened delete and we'll just create a folder here prefabs and uh, now in this folder we will just uh, bring this everything okay so i don't need vase plans octagons just delete it our uh, target particles we need ui we need event system we need game controller we need tutorial canvas we don't need and simple enemy target projectile we don't need target practice spitter melee we don't need and we need only these things okay so what we'll do we'll just uh, bring all of these things to prefabs sorry one by one we have to do so we'll just uh, bring uh, one two actually we don't need light but anyhow okay event system we also don't need but uh, I'm just adding it game okay, controller third person aim canvas shooter controller okay now we will just go to our scene and I, I have set up this scene here first scene where I have added the environment so now you can see that our environment is added and uh, this environment is quite good if we just select the stairs and F to focus, you can see we have a very nice environment. Okay, so we want to place our character somewhere. So I will just uh, add it uh, maybe maybe here or any other place. So we can go to prefabs and uh, I will just create an empty object for environment so our things will be sorry separated so we'll just move it to environment game object so now we will just track all these uh, things so we we'll just need in canvas event system already is here so we don't need it game controller target okay we don't need this target practice i don't know why i have made it it's prefab anyhow we don't need it so let's delete it UI we need V shooter controller we need and V third person camera we need okay so now the V shooter where is V shooter okay so we can place it uh, to our desired area so for that purpose we can just get the position of that section and uh, then we can place it or we can place it manually as well if we want to do so so let's add it manually no problem to here maybe 
Okay. And let's add it to ground. Let's play the game and let's see what will be the result. Okay, that's great. You can see that we have our player. Okay, and if we go to I inventory weapons, uh, we don't have any weapons, so we can add weapons or we can pick weapons as well. So it's up to you. Uh, so if we go to V shooter controller. Uh, you can see that we have we should have uh, our ammo manager and item manager so in item manager you can see that uh, we don't have any items so we will just select shooter and ammo here okay and then we will add our first item which is gun and we'll just uh, add make it auto equip add item we can add assault rifle we can also add shotgun we can also add sniper so in this way we have added the gun so if we play now you will see that we will have our guns so sometimes uh, you know and uh, you can see that uh, we can change the guns okay so everything is working fine you can definitely use this uh, player as well but you can customize it as well so uh, i already have a lot of tutorials on uh, uh, in vector shooter you can see that specific lists and uh, then you will know that how we can customize the character or we can create our own character okay anyhow if you want to customize it you can just place it uh, to the already uh, this shooter and when you select this thing uh, you have to change the animator controller little bit here you have to select the your character avatar and uh, that it will work absolutely fine and uh, for this character you can delete this mesh as well so i will not go in detail because uh, if we create uh, if we add our uh, character here our own character here it will create lot of problems in settings and i don't want to do so because already settings are absolutely nice for this character and this um, uh, this uh, course is specific for AI enemies. In the next video, we will move further and uh, learn more about AI enemies.